Steve, the prospect of, of qualification for the Euros is, is so close. Do you treat this game any differently given that? No, obviously you have to treat it as a tough away game against the, the pot one team in the group. Uh, Spain, the last two games certainly seemed to hit a bit of form. Obviously we had a big result against them here at Hamden. Uh, but we'll have to go there, we'll have to be very, very good at what we do. And if we do that, then I'm, I'm sure we can get a result. Do you face a different Spain side at all from, from that one in March? Yeah, probably. They'll, they'll be more confident. Obviously, they won the Nations League in the summer, which was a, a big boost for them and their country and our new coach. We, we played them in March. They were coming off the back of a disappointing World Cup campaign. Maybe a little bit of transition with the new coach coming in, maybe still bedding down one or two different ideas. And then you look at what they've achieved since then. In the summer, they, like I said before, they become the, the Nations League champions, which is a big thing. And then obviously the, the last two games have been free scoring and, and, and looking like a really good team. So we, we have to be ready for that challenge. But you know, you'd like to think by now that, that if Scotland do what you do well, you give yourselves a real chance in this game. No, no, we go there. We go there determined to play how we can play, uh, as, as well as we can play. And like I said, if, I think if we can hit our top level, then we have a, a good chance of getting something out of the game. Have you let your thoughts drift to qualification and what that would mean and what next summer would be like for, for Scotland? No, no, because we haven't done it yet. We haven't got over the line. What we have done is we've put ourselves in a very good position by winning the first five games. This is now our first chance to secure a qualification. If we don't secure it in the first, first chance, we'll have two more chances in November. So the next six, seven weeks is, is massive for us as a country, massive for us as a, as a national team. We want to be in Germany, we, we stated that right from the start, we didn't want to go through the playoffs. So now we've got some chances to, to finish, the, finish the job. The comments last time from Rodri have been brought up again this week, plenty. Does that count for anything from a Spain point of view, the stock of revenge? Nah, and those, listen, those comments were in March, we, we're talking now about a, a game in October. Different game, different circumstances, so we move on from that one. You've got a lot of players in form, Scott McTominay I'm thinking in, in goal scoring form as well and what he's done for, for Scotland in the past few games. Does that make a big difference having, having players like that that are, that are operating at that kind of level right now? You want all your players to be in form, you want all your players to be confident coming into the camp. I think most of them are, one or two of them may be in slightly different circumstances with their clubs. But even Scott, even though he's not starting for Man United, he shows that the benefit of being a a really good professional coming off the bench, 10 minutes on the pitch, scored, scores two goals and rescues his team and, and gets them a win. And that's what we're trying to develop here. It's not just about the living on the pitch, it's about your whole squad. Uh, I'm very fortunate as the head coach of Scotland that I've got a really good squad of players. Your thoughts on, on Scotland being part of the successful bid for Euro 2028 and all that means for, for the country? Yeah, great. Great for Scotland, great for the United Kingdom that we, we're going to have the tournament. Uh, but it's five years away. It's a long way down the line, so I don't look. I don't look too far ahead. I'm looking at the Spain game. Uh, beyond that, obviously, it can be that tournament can be great for Scotland. Hopefully, it stimulates a lot of growth in the game in the country for both the, the men's and the women's game. And that's what you, that's why you want the major tournaments. But for now, is for me is to focus on the the short term rather than looking at the long term.